Sunset Hill neighborhood of uh, North Ballard. Um, I'd like to say that I think there's an understandable tension when um, citizens who are so horribly affected by national events and the national economy um, try to um, try to redress these these issues, and they, they come to the level of government that really is the most accessible to them, their local uh, their local city government, and yet there the tension that evolves because. The ability of local government to really address some of these national this national catastrophe is understandably uh, a bit circumspect. But still, the city council and the resolution that you're considering today is trying to, in very creative way, I think, address uh, the problems uh, in in ways that will make a big difference. Um, I think the campaign financing. Uh, Part of the resolution to explore new ways to address public, uh, address financing of campaigns, the ability to try and look at where the city keeps its money, uh, and try and potentially move that money into an institution that would more directly help the citizens uh, in this area is is a very good thing. I will also say that there was difficulty uh, and, and, and some tension, certainly, uh, at a town hall meeting uh, last Saturday. And I would, I would just like to say that my personal experience, both of that meeting and also a meeting on Sunday, the day after, uh, where I met with, uh, where a number of us got together, members of Occupy Seattle and uh, Seattle, other Seattle activists got together. We worked in a way that was extremely cooperative, very cordial, and I think very, very productive. And so I, I think that um, though there, there are going to be difficulties as new people come into a process and uh, it so directly affects people's lives, um, I would just say that this is a, a situation that as time goes on, I think it will become very, very productive. And I commend the City Council for, for doing <coughs> its part in trying to make that process uh, more productive. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thirdly Rainey. I am Dolly Rainey and I'm here as a private citizen and not a member of any group. I uh, thank you for putting this document together and I'm talking about your resolution. Um, it is a good document but it does not go far enough. It lacks a real commitment to remedy the underlying problem of citizens who are not permitted to address the grievances in an open forum, except with divine intervention. The document might, might have more meaning if you substituted shell for every time you say will. That would be in section two, articles one of six of your resolutions, V1337, dated 11-1-11. The most telling part of the resolution is the fiscal note for non-capital projects, which is marked not applicable. And the check mark at this legislation does not have any financial implications. I don't believe there will not be at least one full-time equivalent and some outside accounting consultants, public hearings, and the whole show. Without any fiscal commitment and suggested timeline for your resolution, the resolution is nothing much more than paper. The orchestration of the birth of this document must go down in city history as the best orchestrated, speediest maneuver in city government history. From the time Kevin, Kevin Brennan or Benedict, I'm not sure what the name is, from Stand Up America presented the pre prepared statement to the General Assembly of Occupy Seattle on Sunday afternoon, 10.30-11, to the time he tried to present it to the City Council on Monday, 10.31-11, at 2 p.m., where he was told that he was out of order because his initiative was not on the agenda. Only about 17 hours had passed. Never fear, Nick Licata, faster than a speeding bullet, came to the rescue and moved to suspend the rules. 
The initiative was presented during the next 24 hours. The complete city council slaved all night, got the mayor's approval, and the resolution was passed. You need to go back and uh, change some of these flaws in the system. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jake Parrish. I'm here on behalf of myself as a public citizen of Seattle. I've also been part of Occupy Seattle. The road we are walking as a nation and as a world is full of cracks, and it is ready to crumble. We need to move our money. This resolution that uh, is introduced by Mr. Licata calls on city council to transfer funds from the bailout banks to credit unions. This is an exploration, I understand, in the resolution. I am urging you, City Council, to take action on this issue, to look at moving our uh, public retirement accounts into credit unions, to look at moving our uh, city payroll into credit unions, being handled by credit unions. Um, I want to thank you, too, for recognizing the importance, the threat that the corporate welfare, tax break for millionaires, and a system of privatized money creation pose to our democracy. And with Chase, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Goldman Sachs, Citigroup, Citigroup, they have bankrupted our country, all the while taking record profits. They've been investing a large amount of their assets into China. Bailout banks have only 5% of their wealth invested in the local economy. Credit unions have 25% of their assets invested in the local economy. Credit unions are only the first step. In Olympia, there are calls right now for a public bank of Washington. We need to get behind that, and we can. Thank you. I want to ask uh, everyone, including the city council, who here has uh, put their money into a credit union? <laughs> awesome. We are doing good, and we're going to continue to do better. I'm really glad to see that. The path we are walking is full of cracks and ready to crumble. It's up to all of us to pave a new path, or collectively, we're going to learn how to fly. Thank you.